Stand up. Slowly do up the button on my jacket. Courtroom silent. Charged. Waiting for me. The thrill of this. Play it cool. Yeah? Cool. Voice measured and confident. Play it. Play it. It's yours. You're holding it in the palm of your hand. Play with it. Stretch it out. Be not afeard. Be not afeard. In an exclusive reveal that set tongues wagging throughout the industry, esteemed Oscar laureate Kenneth Branagh appears poised to embark on his next directorial venture, accompanied by none other than the luminous starlet Jodie Comer, herself a recipient of both Emmy and BAFTA accolades. Sources have disclosed that Comer is slated to headline Branagh's latest cinematic endeavor, titled The Last Disturbance of Madeline Hind a tantalizing foray into the realm of contemporary psychological thrills, its plot veiled in secrecy for now. Set to commence filming amidst the verdant landscapes of the United Kingdom this August, this independently financed opus promises to captivate audiences with its enigmatic allure. Rekindling the successful partnership forged during the production of Belfast, Branagh reunites with his astute cadre of producers, including Tamar Thomas, Laura Berwick and Becca Kovacic, alongside Matthew Jenkins and the dynamic duo from Maximum Effort, Ashley Fox and Johnny Pariso. The announcement of Branagh's latest cinematic venture has ignited a fervor within the industry, particularly following the resounding success of his previous original screenplay, Belfast, which clinched the coveted Academy Award. As anticipation mounts for this forthcoming cinematic spectacle, the swift confirmation of Coma's involvement serves as a testament to Branagh's enduring ability to craft compelling narratives. <laughs>her demanding schedule, Coma's swift commitment to the project signals the promise of another enthralling tale poised to entice audiences worldwide. Turning our gaze to Coma's recent exploits, the illustrious actress graced the silver screen in The End We Start From, a riveting thriller produced by the esteemed collaboration of Benedict Cumberbatch's Sunny March, Hera Pictures, Anton and BBC Film. Following its limited release in select theatres in New York and Los Angeles on December 8, 2023, the film garnered widespread acclaim, paving the way for its nationwide expansion on January 19, 2024. Yet, Coma's cinematic journey continues to unfold with boundless promise as she prepares to delve into Jeff Nichols' forthcoming drama, The Bike Riders, sharing the screen with the formidable talents of Tom Hardy and Austin Butler. If he keeps riding, he's gonna die one way or another. I need you. Scheduled for release by Focus Features on June 21st, 2024, this evocative drama promises to further showcase Coma's prodigious range as an actress. However, the whirlwind of activity surrounding Coma shows no signs of abating as she embarks on yet another captivating project. Danny Boyle's eagerly anticipated addition to the 28 Years Later trilogy. Set to commence production alongside Aaron Taylor-Johnson, Ralph Fiennes and Jack O'Connell, Coma's involvement in this esteemed franchise underscores her status as one of the industry's most sought-after talents. That's one extent you might not have done. Mine. Good day, Sylvia. What are you wanting? How are all at home? Let me help you. I'm very well, and so is mother and father. And there's a young woman getting me what I want. You all know how to choose what's best to normal Esther. What do you want, Sylvie? I don't want to be called Sylvie. My name is Sylvia. And I'm wanting material for a cloak, if you must know. Esther returns with two rolls of cloth. One grey and one red. Not that red. It's the grey duffel you want, isn't it, Sylvie? It's is the scarlet I want. Don't let him take it away. I don't want that grey. This is a respectable, quiet-looking article that'll go well with any colour. You'll never be so foolish as to take what'll mark with every drop of rain. Oh, I'm sorry you sell such good-for-nothing things. I like the red best. Eight yards, if you please. A cloak takes nine yards, at least. Mother told me eight. I loved it. Yeah, hey, queer-looking tyke, she says. His face all burnt up and twisted. 
I don't think he's a bad one. He, he'd been a tramp this many a day, she reckons. Oh, poor fellow. Oh, there's more so hearts in the world than one reckons for. Still, you know not about him. And tramps is tramps the world over. I think I'd just tell Mrs. Dobson to send him off as soon as he's a bit rested. <laughs> 